Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida and you're watching Maida Pours. Um, I am an acrylic pouring fluid artist here on YouTube and thank you so much for joining us today and watching this video. So today's idea is a ghost tree swipe. I have been seeing these all over in various Facebook groups that I'm in. I think they're beautiful. Um, I watched <clears throat> Julie on Pour Your Heart Out do an example of one and I know that she referenced somebody who kind of came up or you know, not came up with the idea but at least like kind of popularized it and I am not sure who that is. So if you know who originally popular popularized, <laughs> I can talk today I swear, it's still morning I can talk still, um, <laughs> this idea or this type of pour I would really love to hear it in the comments um, so I could give them credit in the description maybe afterwards because I just don't know who it is. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start by going over my palette. Uh, first, I'm gonna put this black, this is Artist Law Flow Acrylic Black. This is gonna be my base coat. So I'm gonna flood the canvas in this first. And then I have Amsterdam Titanium White, and that's gonna be uh, like the ghost trunk um, that goes in the middle. I have Golden Fluid Acrylic um, in Payne's Gray. Not too much, just a little bit. I have Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Um, I think I have the most of this color, so like the swipe is gonna definitely have a dominance of this color, I'm hoping. Um, and I love this color, I haven't used it in forever. So Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, I mix the same way I mix Liquitex, which is one part paint to two parts Floetrol and then water to thin. Um, this is Golden Fluid Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Pearl Fine. Um, just a little bit. I just love this color. I think it blends everything really nicely. Um, and Golden Fluid Acrylic, I mix, I don't have an exact ratio. I only, I put probably like two ounces of Floetrol and just a generous squeeze of the paint. It's not even a full half ounce of paint. You really don't need to use that much paint with a, when you're working with Golden Fluid Acrylics, which is why I love it. Um, this was Liquitex Basics Silver, right here. Uh, one part paint, two parts Floetrol, water to thin. Although it still feels thicker than my other paints because it's that silver metallic, but I did add a lot of water to that. And finally, we have Golden Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Fine here. So, all right, there we go. That is my palette there. I'm gonna move all this out of the way and I am gonna flood my canvas with the black first. I do speed this part up, so enjoy. Okay, I know you saw that in fast forward in motion, but I felt like that canvas gave me some problems. <laughs> but I got it flooded, I got it covered. I'm just gonna pop any bubbles that are in here with my trusty cooking torch. And just get all those bubbles popped, kind of check and see if there's, I feel like I see a little piece of lint in there. So, I'm gonna grab it out with my tweezers that I always like to have on hand. If you see schmutz, grab schmutz. That's a good rule of thumb. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start with my ghost layer back here. It's gonna turn into the tree. So we pour the white down. And it seems like a good generous amount of white because you know, you wanna pick it up. <laughs> you wanna be able to swipe it up. So nice, generous line of white there. I'm gonna like tilt it out just a little bit. Spread it out there just a little. 
do do do. Okay. So that's going to be the trunk. I'm actually going to start with my gold because I want it to kind of, well, the idea is I want to see it um, kind of emerge from the tree and then go into the dark. So I'm going to start with the gold and use some silver too. And a little bit of iridescent pearl sort of in between there, if I can do it. I'm trying to cover the white completely. So when I swipe it out, I don't want to swipe the white out. I want to swipe all the paint over the white out. Okay. And then we're going to go here with my metallic cobalt blue. This has always been, I haven't used this color in a long time. When I first started pouring, I used it in almost like everything, which is probably why I kind of stopped for a little while. You know, you get like tired of using your favorite color, like, but then you always come back to it. So I'm coming back to it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put just some Payne's Gray along that metallic blue. And I'm gonna put a tiny little strip down the middle here. And I did wanna just sort of finish the iridescent pearl off on the very side. I don't know, that might, this might all get, I don't know how, I don't know how well you'll see this. We'll see, we'll see how this looks. Okay. All right, I've got a lot of silver left. Got some metallic left, metallic cobalt, but I'm not gonna put it on here. So I have my caking icer, my caking icer, my cake icer. Um, I didn't buy, I have never used this to ice cakes. Um, this came with my most recent spinner I purchased. I have another, in my actual kitchen, I have a cake icing thing, just like this, but I wouldn't use it for painting. <laughs> I try to keep my cooking uh, utensils and my painting utensils separate. I think that's a good course of thumb. So right up here at the top, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that paint's gray and just swipe it across. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna wipe right there. And let's just keep going down here. Ooh, <laughs> I'm like nervous. <laughs> I feel like my hand's shaking. I'm nervous. Okay. And slow and steady. Swipe it out. That's pretty. I'm definitely picking up that gold I wanted to pick up. Hopefully. Works out. And swipe. Okay, I'm gonna swipe again right here. I wanna pick up that. Okay. I'm gonna smooth it out here. Definitely getting some lacing. And it's pretty. I'm so nervous, I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> and. Right. Not perfect, but I mean, some imperfections kinda, you need some imperfections in something like this. Right, right, okay. <laughs> Okay, I got a lot of empty black space right there. Let's try to sort that out. It's like, I don't want to scrape the canvas, so I'm being like really cautious, but I want it to be a smooth, okay. That's pretty. I'm trying to keep the whole side of the icing. It's like I'm, lifting up the end which is why I'm leaving those spaces and I'm trying really hard to like focus on keeping it flat 
but not pressing, not like pressing it into the canvas. And I'm also trying not to press too hard. I want to leave that white underneath so I can pick it up. Okay, that is pretty. It's a lovely background for the next step here. Ooh, it's getting me just popping bubbles. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Just stretch it out. Just a smidge. I don't want to stretch it too, 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 too much, but I do like the lacing and stuff that's sort of happening in little pieces, and I want to try to stretch that out just a little bit. And, okay. Leave it like that. So there should still be a lot of white hiding under there. And now we're going to find it. We're going to find the white. So I think I'm going to use this one. Now I'm trying to think. So now from your perspective, this is going to be the right way, but I'm going to keep, this is for me, this is my top and this is my bottom, but I'm going to have this be the, like the trunk of the tree and then swipe out through here because I feel like it's easier for me to swipe down than it's for me to swipe up. Okay. So that's, that's how I'm going to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to start right here. Let's hope I get this white up. I'm going to start with the first swipe of the trunk. Okay. Yeah. See how that white shone through? And I'm going to pull over here. Kind of do the same thing. I don't want to scrape my canvas. I'm trying to be careful. Okay. And, you know, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is, <laughs> this is abstract, right? <laughs> So, you know, you don't have to worry about making your trunk perfect. I'm picking up this new tool and I'm going to just swipe, swipe out, create that trunk, or sorry, that limb, <laughs> that branch. And swipe out to make that, tr that branch. Why am I calling them all trunks? Some are branches made of, they're not, it's not all part of the trunk. Some of this is part of the branch. Okay. I'm so nervous. Okay. All right. Okay, I didn't really pick up the white in that, but I did. There we go. And I'm gonna wipe off the paint a little bit better. Okay, so those are sort of our main branches here. I think I'm gonna do one more coming up this side. Okay. Now I'm gonna come in with my popsicle stick. This paint is dry, don't worry. <laughs> it looks blue, but it's dry. And I'm just gonna kinda do some smaller branches coming off these big guys. And I'm just kind of feeling the flow here, not thinking about this too much, just kind of going for it. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out a little. Pull that out a little. Coming back in with my popsicle stick. I like using popsicle sticks as uh, tools with fluid art painting. They've always been kind of like my go-to. <laughs> I feel like, I guess, I don't mind just touching the canvas with a popsicle stick. It never like creates a gap. Um, it always lets the paint kind of come back in. So I just stress out less with popsicle sticks. All right. Do you see it? Do you see the tree? Okay. So I definitely see the tree, but I want to come in with some of my white here. Grabbing another popsicle stick that, this is, was my titanium white. I'm just gonna kinda define some of these branches. My like wispy branches because I want them to show when this painting dries. I really like those wispy branches. So we're gonna go ahead, use my trusty popsicle stick. And if you get a little too much, you can just sort of swipe it back in. I find popsicle sticks very forgiving. I'm trying to wipe off my paint. I'm not doing the greatest job because I'm getting a little bit in this cup. That's okay. Sacrificing. I'm just going over mostly because I want to see it really kind of brighten up and sort of come to life. That's what I feel like I'm doing right now. A little bit there. I'm going to bring this, swipe that in there. One through there. Plus, it's just fun to uh, it's always okay to add little details. Don't be afraid to add little details. Um, it's you know, it's your painting, it's your art. Anything you see online or in a Facebook group, the way I see it is like, that's inspiration. You're never gonna recreate something exactly. Um, never be afraid to put your own twist on it. And never think you did it wrong because it didn't come out exactly like someone else's you saw. Because maybe it didn't come out the way you imagined, but that doesn't mean it came out bad. Or, you know, sometimes I feel like we, <clears throat> I know that I'm my own worst critic when it comes to painting. Um, I have a hard time. I look at other people's paintings and I see beauty. I look at my own paintings and I immediately see where I, you know, I don't know what I had imagined versus what I created. Does that make sense? And very, very rarely did I, does what I imagined versus what I created come out exactly the same, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna get a few more wispies over here. Oh, that was a strong wispy, that's okay. We're gonna just sort of pull that out a little bit. 
pull that back in to the into the group there. <laughs> and again, kind of go. I should be coming out versus in, but it's okay. It's all fine. I should stop now, but I'm going to do one more. Famous last words, right? All right, now I feel like my branches are like so much more defined. And I, I'm just hoping that I, I still want to see when it dries. I'm going to go ahead and take this white, pull it along. That edge there. Just wanted to define that a little bit more. Like that. Just. I'm just sort of lightly tapping it so it there we go okay that is my ghost crease white and i think it came out lovely and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please do hit that like button and if you enjoy watching videos like this consider subscribing because uh, this is what we do here and I'm going to go ahead and bring you in for a close-up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. All right. So here is my ghost tree swipe. I love how this sort of lacing and cells are coming out from behind the trunk here. And I love how the gold um, kind of like shines through. And that is what I was going for. It kind of reminds me of like the moon shining through the trees. Um, I love the background. I think it's pretty. And this turned out pretty well for my first time here. I like, I'm glad that I went back in with that popsicle stick to kind of define those branches out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next time.